Welcome to this fourth of four screencasts that we're doing here on using uh, the algebraic limit laws to calculate limits. This last one is a really important example as you will see as you move in towards the concept of the derivative. This involves a limit and a difference quotient at the same time. Uh, here we're going to take the limit of f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 over h as h goes to 0 where f is this polynomial function up here, 3x squared minus x plus 4. Now this is a fairly complicated and involved process and I might need to stop somewhere in here and change and get a clean screen here. Um, we're going to compute the difference quotient first and then we're going to take the limit of the result. So I'm going to start over here by getting, uh, just setting up my problem, limit as h goes to 0. But I have a lot of intermediate things to do and I need a big fraction bar right there, h. First of all, I need to calculate f of 1 plus h. I'm going to do that right here. And we're going to, I'm just going to put this straight in, uh, replace the x with 1 plus h, 3 plus 1 plus h squared, minus quantity 1 plus h plus 4. That's f of 1 plus h. Now I'm going to subtract and make sure you group these off, otherwise the, uh, the signs might get messed up. f of 1, which is 3 times 1 squared, minus 1 plus 4. Okay, so far so good. Now we're going to continue uh, here and try to simplify the top as much as we can. Lots of algebra about to happen here. I'm going to use the FOIL method to expand uh, 1 plus h, so that's squared, so that's 1 plus 2h plus h squared. I'm subtracting a group in the second bit here, so I'm going to subtract 1 and subtract the h, adding 4. And on the inside of this, uh, just note that we can uh, do this off to the side, if, if right here, uh, 3 times 1 squared minus 1 plus 4. Uh, so that's 3 minus 1 is 2, plus 4 is a 6. So I am subtracting, subtracting 6. This is all over h. One more algebra step and then we'll begin to crunch this down a little bit. Limit as h goes to 0 of, I'm just going to multiply this 3 through each of the terms I see here. 3 plus 6h plus 3h squared minus 1 minus h plus 4 minus 6. I know I have some things that I can combine here like the numbers, but I'm not going to do all that stuff at once. I'm going to just take my time. Pop this up here. I hope I don't run out of room here at the edge, but we'll see. Let's look down here before I write anything and see what I can maybe cancel off. <clears throat> Looking at the numbers, I have 3 minus 1, that would be 2, plus 4 is 6, and then I subtract the 6 off. So actually all of these numbers uh, will cancel off. Good thing too. I don't think I'm going to run out of space now. I have all this stuff over h. What's left over is I have a 3h squared, and then I have a 6h minus h. That's a plus 5h. All right, so now I'm down to a limit of what looks like just a plain old rational function, like we saw in the first uh, screencast of this series. So as we said before, the first thing I ought to do when I'm evaluating a limit of all this stuff uh, is to try to evaluate uh, the limit by putting the numbers straight in. I don't think I really need the space I created. I can just do this in my head. If I let h equal 0, I'll go ahead and write it up here. It would be 3 times 0 plus 5 times 0 over 0, and of course we get our friend 0 over 0. So what does that mean about the limit? Absolutely nothing. I have no idea what this limit uh, is going to come out to be if it, come, if it is indeed going to come out to be anything at this point. When I get 0 over 0 as a limit result, it means i got to keep working. I need to look at some algebra perhaps and try to simplify the expression I have. Fortunately that's going to be fairly simple because I see I have a common factor of h on the top of this fraction, so I'm going to uh, factor that out like so, and I get h times 3h plus 5, all divided by h. And um, as usual with difference quotients, the h's cancel. And uh, you know maybe I will get this done in one screen here. Limit as h goes to 0 of 3h plus 5. And this is a simple linear function, which is a kind of polynomial, and so I can evaluate by direct substitution. That's 3 times 0 plus 5, or just plain old 5. And that's my answer there. So that's a limit of a difference quotient. Okay? And like I said, you will discover pretty soon now that this limit of a difference quotient construction is hugely, hugely, hugely important for calculus. So being able to manage and navigate through the algebra here is good stuff, and I hope you're able to do it.